good morning all of you in the last class we discussed about special sets they are nothing but groupoid a set which is satisfying closure property under any composition is called a groupoid and then semi group a semi group is nothing but an non empty set which satisfies closure property and associativity under any composition is called an semi group and then third set is monoid what is a monoid a monoid is nothing but a non empty set with satisfying three properties closure property associativity and existence of identity later we discussed what is a group group is nothing but again it is a non empty set which satisfying the four properties in order closure property associativity existence of identity and then existence of inverse the most examples we are discussing here which is not a group in the last class which is not a group we said that that is nothing but uh, n comma dot naturals under multiplication is not a group because in this set we have all the elements satisfying closure property associativity existence of identity because identity element in this set is e is equal to 1 but every element in this set uh, uh, are not invertible elements have no inverses that's why we are calling this is not a group now let us discuss what is a group and then discuss uh, what is a commutative group okay right let us consider set of integers and uh, addition first problem is that prove that set of integers under addition we are indicating integers by z addition means plus z comma plus e is a group we want to prove that z comma plus e is a group let us discuss any two integers first property closure property to discuss this property we have to take two elements what are they let us consider two integers say it is uh, any m comma n two integers then what is our addition m plus n instead of m n suppose you consider m is 5 n is 2 m plus n that is 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 7 is again an integer so addition is closed in set of integers so closure property satisfied in that set next second property what is the second property associative property we can shortly say it associativity to discuss this property we have to take three elements i'll say them as a b c are the three elements in the set of integers instead of numbers uh, instead of letters let us take any numbers a is equal to minus 2 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 5 then what is a plus b the value is a plus b is equal to minus 2 plus 3 value is 1 and uh, b plus c is equal to 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 now consider a plus b plus c value this value is nothing but what is a minus 2 plus b plus c value is 8 the value is minus 2 plus 8 is equal to what is the value is nothing but 6 again consider in order addition is a plus b plus c which is equal to what is a plus b plus 1 and uh, a, a plus b value is plus 1 and c value is 5 total value is 6 here we observe that uh, the Consider addition a plus b plus c value is equal to a plus b plus c. So associativity holds in this set of integers. And then identity, existence of identity. Third property is existence of identity. What is the additive identity? You know that that is always one. Is it an integer or not? Evidently, it is an integer. So identity element exists. identity element 1 is exist in z sorry additive identity is always 0 so 0 uh, is an integer suppose you add e to any integer 
we get again that value a plus what is e here additive identity is 0 that value is equal to a for every a in z similarly we can prove that e plus a value is equal to 0 plus a if you add 0 to any element we get the same so identity element additive identity element exists in z of integers next fourth property existence of inverse what are the additive inverses? Suppose you may take an element A in integers. You want to find an element B so that addition with A is equal to identity. Identity means here 0. Suppose A plus B is equal to 0. Then what is the value of B? B value is equal to minus A. Whenever A is an integer, suppose 2 is an integer, obviously minus A. What is minus A? Minus 2. Again it is an integer. Not in whole number, it is an integer. In whole number set, we have no negatives. So, we can't discuss the whole numbers is not a group. So, here only set of integers is a first group. You may observe your notes. You may observe it in your notes table 2. In table 2, several examples are there. You may observe them and practice it. Right. Next problem is to that we have to show that set of even integers forms a group under usual addition and you may observe that uh, mere notes prepare chess column problems ki now onwards theory part matram make explanation to ikkada nen cheptu untanu with notes kani uh, Problems such na puru, mereu taroga notes ras kunta ante, ona doubts such ante clear just got Okay, right? Set of even integers. Asli in integers are naran ni even integers endi. Integers are classified into two kinds. Suppose you may take it is as a real lines, uh, three, four, five and so on on the right side minus 1 minus 2 and so on in the left side all these are called non negative integers here are all negative integers these are all negative integers and again from this total integer set those integers which are multiples of 2 are called even integers we can write it as, as a roster form 2z 2z consisting the elements n where n is in the form 2 into x where x is an integer for example n is equal to 4 how can we write it 4 is equal to 2 into 2 2 is an again suppose n is equal to 6 it is an even why it is called as even it, it, it can be written as 2 into 3 it is an integer so 2 into integer multiples are called even integers in the next class we will discuss very important and asked in uh, model paper as even integer set is a group under usual additions so thoroughly you have to prepare the notes now onwards for problems nearly six models are there right thank you